you all are most welcome in our YouTube channel Sawal Bawal. Our question is which is greater e to the power pi or pi to the power e. Before I start to solve this question, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. You can also follow us on Telegram, WhatsApp and on Twitter which is now known as X. If you have any query regarding any question or you have any other question, then you can mail us at sawalbawal at the rate of gmail.com. Now let us start to solve this question. I found this question during the internet surfing. This is very interesting question. If you will try to solve it manually, then you will not be able to solve it since the value of E is 2.71828182. Eight two, eight four, till infinity. Since it is a irrational number and pi is also irrational number, you all know that, and its value is one four one five nine two six and some more digit. If you want to take that, both are the irrational number. If you want to calculate it manually, then you will not be able to solve it manually. But obviously, you can calculate it by the calculator, but point is that we are not interested to calculate it by calculator. We want to solve it by some other means. I will try to solve it by the two different method which will be very easy one. Let me solve it by the method one. Method first, let us draw the graph of function y, y is equal to 1 by x. The graph of function y is equal to 1 by x is look something like this for positive quadrant of x and clearly you have seen that the value of pi is greater than the value of e, then the value of if we will put e then this will be here and the value of pi will be here. If you want to calculate the area of this region, then we can calculate it by the method of integration. So, let us calculate the area of this shaded region, then this can be calculated by integration 1 by x into dx from e to pi. But this area will be smaller than the area of this rectangle and what will be the area of this rectangle? Since this length is equal to 1 by e and this length is equal to e and this length is equal to pi, therefore this length will be equal to pi minus e. Therefore, the area of this rectangle will be equal to area of this rectangle will be equal to pi minus e into 1 by e and clearly you can see that the area of shaded region will be smaller than the area of this rectangle therefore we can put the area of this shaded region will be smaller than the area of rectangle that is equal to pi minus e into 1 by e. Now we can find the area of this shaded region by integrating it the integration of 1 by x into dx is log base e log base e x from e to pi which will be less than pi minus e times well uh, pi minus e times of 1 by e. Further we can put uh, further we can solve it by putting the limit log e base pi minus log e base e which will be smaller than pi minus e times of 1 by e. But we know that log a base a is equal to 1 with help of this formula we can put the value of log e base e is equal to 1 therefore we can write log e base pi minus 1 will be smaller than pi minus e 
into 1 by e. For the we can write it as log e base pi minus 1 will be less than pi by e minus e into e by e and further it can be written as log e base pi minus 1 which will be less than pi by e minus 1. Minus 1 will be cancelled out with minus 1 of RHS side by adding plus 1 and plus 1. Therefore, we can write it as log e base pi will be less than pi by e. Further, we can, uh, we can say that log a base x is equal to y then this can be written as x is equal to a to the power y this is the formula with the help of this formula we can write um, no first of all let us multiply it by uh, e on both side then this will be equal to e log e base pi will be less than pi and uh, we know another formula of lo log that is a log b can be written as log b to the power a. With the help of this formula we can write log e base pi to the power e will be less than pi and further we can write it as with the help of this formula we can write it as pi to the power e will be less than e to the power pi and this is our required answer. Now let us solve it by another method that is the method number method second. To solve it by method second we should know the Taylor series expansion of e to the power x by Taylor series that e to the power x can be expanded to uh, we can write it as 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial till infinity. From this expansion we can clearly say that e to the power x will be greater than the partial sum of 1 plus x since this is equal to this large number of summation but e to the power x will be greater than the, this partial summation since we are taking only two term therefore e to the power x will be greater than 1 plus x. Now let us uh, take a intelligence choice uh, intelligent, intelligent choice that is value of x is equal to pi by e minus 1 to prove our questions yeah, to solve our questions solution. Now let us put the value of x e to the power pi by e minus 1 will be greater than 1 plus pi by e minus 1. This is the value of x. Further we can write e to the power pi by e into e to the power minus 1 will be greater than pi by e and further it can be written as e to the power pi by e divided by e greater than pi by e. Multiplying both side by e we will have e to the power pi by e will be greater than pi. Now raise both side a power e then we will have e to the power pi by e to the power e will be greater than pi to the power e and we know that if there is a a to the power m multiplied by n then it can be written as a to the power m into n with help of this formula we can write it as pi by e into e will be greater than pi to the power e and this is equal to e to the power pi greater than pi to the power e and this is our required solution. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Please subscribe our channel to support us and thanks once again.